What is up guys? Welcome to a brand new video. If you're new here, my name is Joe. You can call me Slow Joe and we're working on my 2009 Corvette Z06 that we have been purposely building to get it out on track. Sebring, Daytona, Homestead, The Firm, all those tracks. But if you've seen any of my previous videos, if you haven't, go ahead and watch them now and then come back to this one when you're done. This car has given me tons and tons of different issues, really limiting my opportunity to get it out on track before 2023 season ends. On the good news, the car is on the up and up, running healthy, running happy, but we need to address one more thing before we go out there, and that's stopping. I don't wanna go out here with the cross strode rotors that it has, which are known to crack under high heat, and you know, since this car is giving me all sorts of little issues and it find a way to potentially put the car at risk and more importantly, myself at risk. So we're going with Hawk DTC 60s. Now, if you're gonna be tracking occasionally, you know, maybe once every few months, you don't need to go as aggressive as these. You can go to the Hawk HP pluses or something like that. Um, but this car primarily is gonna live in the garage, maybe a few little short trips, but its main focus is the track and I want all the power that I can get. So I have the DTC 60s, I got all brand new blank face rotors, no cross road, no slotted, just blank face for now. And I have up there in the top corner, Multool RBF 660 for the brake fluid. This is probably the most important part. If you're a beginner like myself and you're going out for the first time, you can more than likely get away with running your uh, rotors and pads that you have factory on the car. But the brake fluid and the brake fluid's temp and ability to maintain the temp is going to be the key part where you get brake fade. So if you are going to run your, your, your Z06 or your Corvette or any platform, pretty much any car, I highly recommend at least a bare minimum if you do have good pad life is to go ahead and do the brake fluid. I know for a fact I've taken these wheels off and the pad life was a little lean and these rotors have been on there since this car was bought in 2009. So I'm going to pull all that off, get it all set, swapped out brand new. Because next week, next week, just six days from now, I will finally get an opportunity to put this thing out on track. Now, I won't be out on Sebring like my Race of Sebring series. That is still the goal. But we at least get it out on Homestead Speedway. It's a closer track to home. Can trailer it there and back quickly if anything were to happen. Um, and we can get this car running through its paces. Make sure that everything has been done to it is happy, it's healthy, and that it can sustain some, some, some freedom and then we can make it out to Sebring from there. But let's jump into this, let's get started on the wheels, let's pull these things off, let's get the rotors out, and let's uh, put these new pads in. But I guess when I did my initial inspection, I assumed they were a little worse than they actually were, but here, let me see. Here, let's do it this way. There's still quite a bit of meat left on these, um, but regardless, like I said, with this car specifically, I've just had so many little random things happen that I'm not taking any chances, especially not with my stopping power. So I'm going to switch these out. Another thing to note, the factory setup is one pretty much, those are six piston calipers, right? So it's pretty much one pad per caliper. I mean, per piston, these are going to run. These are actually, the, these are the rears. These are the fronts here. They are one solid unit across the across the entire thing so um i mean you still got to press in the pistons to put them in place but these are one one whole unit not six individual um little brake uh, pads so we have the front rotors here like i said nothing special just uh these are from napa great bargain um i bought the pads from kns brakes and they are extremely helpful um they are you know I, I, I definitely enjoyed working with them to get me my, uh, my pads. And they do have a good blank face rotor as well. They were just a little bit higher than the price point that I wanted to pay. They were about, I think, 110 a unit. And I think these nap I had on special for like 70. So, you know, just kind of being a little bit cheaper just because I've expensed so much on this car that I went with the Napa unit. And I do have a buddy that's got a uh, fifth gen Camaro that pretty much runs these Napas on DTC 70s. And his car is an absolute unit, so I do trust him. Hmm. Here's a problem. Let's see if I can show you. 
they are not the same size as the factories. Let me, uh, all right, so you saw in the last clip that I realized that I bought the wrong rotors. And earlier on, I talked about the fact that these rotors are known to crack. But I also mentioned that any beginner driver, the likelihood of you cracking it and pushing these brake rotors to the limit is very, very low. So what I'm doing is I quickly look to see if I can find something sourced it quickly. There was nothing. So we got the C6 rotors on and we got the DTC60s on. So that's what we're gonna run. We're still gonna do the fluid. Um, and you know, wide open to see God, then break. So as you can probably hear in the background, we have the air compressor going. I've already got the two front uh, pads changed out on both sides. So that's ready to go. Running the stock rotors on it, like I said, uh, but we need to get this. This is pretty much gonna be the game changer. The pads and rotors are gonna have their certain heat capacities, but this is what's gonna change and you know de dramatically decrease the chances of brake fade. So make sure you get that swapped out. We're using a Harbor Freight, I think Pittsburgh makes it, a uh, brake bleeding kit. So we're gonna drain out the current brake fluid that it has and then put in the Multool RBF. Let's go. So we just took a quick pause from draining the front of the calipers. Basically just doing some research, we realized that you actually need to drain from the furthest point first. So I actually gotta do uh, the passenger rear, driver rear, passenger front, driver front. So we actually stopped what we were doing. We're moving to the back. We actually haven't changed the pads yet for that one. So I'm gonna jack the rear up of the car, got the front up on stands, jack the rear up, start doing the brake pads. Um, I have a pancake compressor here and it's probably just as old as I am. So it's pretty much struggling to hold pressure. Um, so we went to go pick up my old man's, you know, uh, I think it's a 20 gallon which will hold a lot more pressure than this little five gallon, three gallon actually, and uh, see if we can get it to do faster because when we were draining it, it was extremely slow. So right now I'm just gonna jump on the rear, get the rear pads off. Um, hopefully they're just as quick as the front, literally two bolts, do the rear, and then wait for my old man to return with the compressor, start the draining process, put the fluid back in, and then go in for like a little brake bending process. One thing I love doing is Enjoy the sheer size of these meats. And honestly, they're what, a 325? I might push up to a 335 on this car. Not too sure just yet, right? These are three, 325s. I think I can fit up to a 335 on it. So, you know, next set will be a 100 treadwear tire. This is just a Pilot Sports 4S's. Um, definitely not a tire that you're gonna be going too fast in, but a decent all around tire. But for what I'm going for, I need way more sticky. Oh, you're still here. Good. If you've watched this far, I want to apologize. I know this video was a little bit shorter than my other videos. I, I don't know if you can notice, but in the beginning of the video, I'm kind of mixing some of my words, moving around a little bit, kind of catching myself a bit. I was dealing with a really massive migraine throughout the day. And as I started up on the car, I was kind of juggling how to maintain focusing on camera angles and discussing on the camera, but also dealing with a lot of pain in the forehead and still working on the car and doing things properly. So I had to give up the camera for some time just so I can use a little bit of energy I did have left to make sure that I had the car dialed in because this week it's going out on track. So I wanted to make sure everything was dialed in, but I did want to summarize this video up. Like I said a little bit earlier on, the Napa brake rotors that I ordered were actually for a stock Corvette platform not a Z06, they run a different brake platform. Um, so it's running the Z06 brake rotors and it is running the Hawk DTC60s, a square setup. All four are the same. It is running the Multool RBF660 brake fluid. I did order extra brake fluid that I'll be taking with me to the track. Um, I'll be taking some extra Multool 300V, which is the engine oil in this thing to the track with me. Um, went and did the brake bedding process on it quickly after I was done with everything wrapping up the car. These brakes are absolutely gnarly, like they are mean. So I'm really excited to see how they perform on track. But I do have a concern that we'll talk a little bit more on the future video is, will these really aggressive braking platforms overwhelm my 300 treadwear tires? So we'll find out on track this coming week when we put it on track. So if you've seen, like, if you've watched the video this far, like it, subscribe it, it helps the channel grow. 
and stay tuned in for the next video because the next video I drop will be the first time that I put this thing on track. The first time this car, from what I know from the previous owners, that it has done road coursing in itself as well. So let's find out. Does this car make it? Will it blow up? Will it run hard? Will I be overwhelmed by the car? What else do we have to do to this car to make it track worthy? So that's all coming in the coming videos. So stay tuned, like I said, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.